to be gathered here today in this beautiful place to celebrate the union of this beautiful couple, Kemper Burton Whaley and Jenna Camille Richardson. Jenna is known and loved for her boundless energy, <laughs> athleticism, and the border collie-like determination in her pursuits <laughs> and inevitably attains any goal she trains her eyes on. Whether that be success at work, a burgeoning real estate empire, becoming the face of California ACL replacement surgery, <laughs> or arranging incredible trips, dinner parties, and nights out with those that she loves. When Jenna enters a space, you can instantly see the effect of her infectious, positive energy. Jenna makes friends literally everywhere she goes. She is so outgoing and chatty. But I think she makes, pe makes these connections with people because she really listens and makes people feel seen. When we first met Kemper, we were struck by his kindness, his outgoing nature, and his easy laugh that can make you feel like you've been friends for years after just a short conversation. It was so clear that he and Jenna were a perfect match. He's a genuine Mr. Fix-It and is always willing to put his skills to use for his friends. Kemper, fueled by genuine curiosity, is the only known rival to Jenna's make friends with strangers throne. <laughs> he really wants to learn about the people around him and discuss different ideas, all with the desire to understand, which is such a rare and wonderful trait. Kemper has an amazing drive for adventure. He wants to sample all nature has to offer and in the most adrenaline-fueled manner possible. From backpacking Patagonia, to surfing in Portugal, to skiing in Japan, to mountain biking here in Utah. Jenna and Kemper are a match made in REI heaven. You can see the drop. We, like many of you, have gotten to witness the relationship and love for each other flourish and deepen into the loving, dynamic, and epic union that we all trekked out into the middle of the desert to celebrate. <laughs> but before the fun begins, Jenna and Kemper would like us all to be fully present and technology-less during the ceremony. So please fully turn off your phones and do not take any pictures. There is a great photographer here, Corey, so there will be tons of photos of Kent, Jenna, and Kemper, and each of us looking snatched and hot. <laughs> and I also want to let you know that Kemper said that he will personally throw anyone who uses a phone into the river. He a man on the day of the weather. As we gather here amongst these stunning red rocks, Jenna and Kemper also wanted to acknowledge that the area we are in today was once home to bands of Ute and ancestral Pueblo people before colonists forced them from these lands. While none of us were alive when those actions were taken, we continue to benefit from them. So as you return home, we encourage you to think about ways you can support indigenous efforts for freedom, whether that be fighting against harmful pipelines or supporting reparations for the ongoing impacts of past injustices. Now that we are all grounded and present, it is time to talk about the loving partnership that Jenna and Kemper have built. Jenna and Kemper's love story begins on a mountain, of course, in Mammoth, where they were both visiting on a ski trip. As you might have heard, at a party, Jenna spotted Kemper across the room wearing a snowbird hat and couldn't resist going up to him and saying, quote, so you went to Utah once and you bought a fucking hat. <laughs> <laughs> Kemper yes. eventually, eventually proved that he had the skills to back up his branded clothes. Uh, and they bonded over their shared passion for doing crazy stuff outside. On their first date, Kemper took Jenna on a super gnarly winter mountain bike ride at night. After biking up and down 2,000 feet of elevation change, having to walk half the time, and going down hard a time or two, Jenna legitimately wondered if Kemper was crazy. <laughs> Probably. They finally made it down. Kemper proceeded to tell Jenna that they have a reservation at a fancy sushi dinner. Despite having no change of clothes and being covered in sweat and dirt, Jenna was game. The rest is history. From their shared love for adventure and the outdoors grew a loving partnership that has brought them so much joy and growth and happiness over the subsequent years. Kemper loves Jenna's drive, the passion she brings to all of her endeavors, and her ability to make friends in any situation. And Jenna loves Kemper's ability to fix anything, his patience, and his constant encouragement. <laughs> they love that they are both independent, but choose to be together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kemper and Jenna, while sharing so much in common, also balance each other out. 
Jenna's tenacity and keen financial mind helps <laughs> Kemper push through tough situations. <laughs> and Kemper's patient, steadying nature encourages Jenna when she is frustrated. They both have a make it work mentality that has helped them build their future together. Kemper and Jenna, you have both grown so much over the course of your relationship and have faced many challenges together. Healing from injuries, supporting each other through career changes, jointly buying a home. Everyone here knows that each of you would have been able to face those challenges alone. But in choosing to face these together, you deepen the bond between you. And here you stand, hand in hand, ready to take on your next great adventure together, marriage. And good news for the both of you, marriage is not passive. It is a muscle to exercise, a joint activity you must both choose to engage in every day. Now, we would like to share some words of wisdom on love from Jenna and Kemper's grandparents who could not join us here today. Grandpa Bert and Grandma April say love will get you through the problems everyone has. Be happy and enjoy each other as well as the things you do and accomplish together. Remember, love conquers all in the end. Grandma Joy says, always stay true to yourself as well as being in tune with the other. At the same time, plan on putting in the time and effort as a couple. Gaga says, tell your partner that you love each other every single day. Hug and kiss each other before leaving for work. <laughs> now, Jenna and Kemper, it is your turn to take the mic as you make your vows to each other. Kemper's going to go first. Unless you want to go first. Go ahead. <laughs> <sighs> Jenna Camille Richardson. I love you. I promise to be your co-psychopath. <laughs> I will continue to be the worst mountain bike guide imaginable. <laughs> and I will always say the water is warmer and the waves are smaller than in actuality. <laughs> On a serious note, Jenna, I love that you never stop moving, that you try to fit far too many activities, meetings, workouts, social hours into every single day, especially yesterday. <laughs> you light up a room with your positivity and will bend over backwards for those you hold dear. You don't passively move through life. Rather, you attack it with every last bit of energy you have. Even though we've been together for some time now, you still managed to surprise and impress me with how you approach life. Always a new set of friends, job, or hobby to add to the list. Jenna, I love that we approach life as a team. Our strengths and weaknesses complement each other. We dream big and execute on those dreams every single day. We celebrate our successes and carry our failures together. Ultimately, we put in the work, not just in our jobs, but more importantly, in our relationship. And I promise to continue to put in that work. I'll always be in your corner, fighting with you, not against you, while being your biggest supporter and champion. Jenna, <laughs> love and marriage is a choice. I choose you and will continue to choose you as long as I stand on this earth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Hold on one second. Success. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Um, to the boy with the snowboard hat. <laughs> our, our six and a half year journey to this moment has been nothing short of incredible. We've built an amazing life that we love to do, to, uh, that we love to do together. Our perfect day, oh sorry. we built an amazing life. <laughs> um, our perfect days are spent together surfing, mountain biking, and skiing, only to go, to go to bed absolutely exhausted and get up and do it all over again the next day. Our friends and family think we are wild energizer bunnies, but that life just makes sense for the two of us. Beyond having a shared love of every activity, our deep connection in terms of our values and personalities are why you're my perfect person. We've truly done it all. 
from buying a house together, building an ADU, creating the start to our future real estate investment empire, <laughs> re-landscaping a 6,900 square foot yard by hand, traveling the world to ski and surf, building an energy efficient cedar hot tub three times, <laughs> and creating an amazing life together in Oceanside with the most fantastic friends, many who are here tonight. I'm so happy that we get to celebrate this moment in front of our most favorite people in a place so special to both of us. I vividly remember the first time I brought you to Moab in May of 2017. I was so nervous to introduce you to my group of closest family friends who watched me grow up. Immediately within the first few hours, you saved the Gordon's trailer from sinking into the sand, <laughs> fixed countless people's bike issues and fit in like a breeze. You put up with all the cross country riding like a champ and that's when I truly knew you were the one. <laughs> Tolerance. Months later, we had this crazy idea that since both of our parents had gotten our visa that year, that we would bring them both into the desert with no cell phone service to spend a weekend hiking, biking, and camping with each other. Wow, looking back on it, that seemed pretty ballsy. <laughs> but that's when I knew that this would last forever and that our families melded so well naturally. Now, six years later from that moment, we are all together again, officially starting our life together as husband and wife. I love that you interact with my family like they are your family. How you know family is so important to me, so it's important to you. We both say daily. I love our little Oceanside life. I love that we are home, are the home base for so many of our friends and have created such an incredible friend group composed of friends from all stages of life. We are the most epic team when it comes to regularly hosting 15 to 20 people. <laughs> You're my favorite sous chef and hype man. <laughs> I grew up with an incredible dad that absolutely ruined me when I came to understanding the normal person's ability to fix things. <laughs> Thanks, dad. <laughs> and I always dreamt of someone who would be able to partner with him and me and get it all done. <laughs> you are my fixer-upper and my perfect man. <laughs> Growing up, my parents set an example of enduring love and how shared interests were the foundation of their growing love over the years. They set the example for what I was looking for in a life partner, and that's clearly you. I vow to be your surf, snowboard, ski, mountain bike, golf, kind of, water ski, <laughs> wakeboard partner for as long as my knee allows. <laughs> I vow to appreciate every little project you do for our family and never take it for granted. I vow to always send it and be someone you can always count on to have fun. <laughs> I vow to support you in your late night tinkering with snacks and comedic relief. <laughs> I can't imagine my life without you. You are my heart and my soul, and I am the luckiest person to call me. Call you my husband. I love you, Kemper. Kiss ya. We can't kiss yet. All right, so now we'll do the other vows. Um, Kemper, please repeat after me. I, Kemper, commit myself to you, Jenna. I, Kemper, commit myself to you, Jenna. As your wedded husband. As your wedded husband. To learn and to grow with. To learn and to grow with. To explore and adventure with. To explore and adventure with. <laughs> to respect you as an equal partner. To respect you as an equal partner. In pursuit of powder and big waves <laughs> and a lifetime of happiness. <laughs> In the pursuit of powder. Medium waves <laughs> and a lifetime of happiness. <laughs> to love for forever and always. <laughs> to love in forever and always. Jenna, please repeat after me. I, Jenna, commit myself to you, Kemper. I, Jenna, commit myself to you, Kemper. As your wedded wife. As your wedded wife. To learn and grow with. To learn and grow with. To explore and adventure with. To explore and adventure with. To respect you as an equal partner. To, to respect you as an equal partner. In pursuit of powder and big waves and a lifetime of happiness. In pursuit of powder and small waves <laughs> and a lifetime of happiness. <laughs> to love for forever and always. To love for forever and always. In the spirit of the love that you have for each other, Kemper, Burton, and Whaley, do you take Jenna to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward as long as you both shall live? I do. Jenna Camille Richardson, do you take Kemper to be your lawfully wedded husband from this day forward as long as you both shall live? I do. And now we will exchange the rings, your rings, 
Fire-forged medals derived from this earth yeah. are a symbol of your coming together as individuals to form a strong union. With this ring, I marry you. Good this luck. Kemper and Jenna, you have exchanged your vows, you've made your promises, and celebrated your union with the giving and receiving of rings. But a marriage ceremony involves more than just the two of you. It's about this wonderful community that you have built over the years. I hope you feel the immense love here from the more than 100 people whose belief in your loving union is so strong that they would drive all these hours out into the middle of the desert to camp without water and electricity. <laughs> we are here today not just to party, and party we will, but to commit all of our lifelong support to your union. So, by the power of your love and commitment, with the support of all of the witnesses here before you, and by the power vested in me by the state of Utah, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may kiss.